Hey guys, if you guys need your dominations, 12 and O's, Evos, anything that has to do with online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA, 100% reliable and 100% legit. So be sure to go click the link in the description and hit them up now. What is going on guys? It is your boy by 2 k and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys a video on the brand new pink diamond card that you guys can get for free in NBA 2K21, my team. And more importantly, this free pink diamond card is, from what I heard, like a top three center in the game right now. And more importantly, like I said, it is a free card. Now, unfortunately, it is based off of getting kind of lucky. And that player we are gonna be talking about is going to be pink diamond Wayne Embry or Embry. I don't really know how to say his name. Never once heard of this guy in my life. A lot of you guys really probably haven't heard of him either. This guy came out of nowhere. This guy absolutely came out of nowhere. Today, uh, you know, some new challenges came out. We were doing those and you guys were telling me in my stream that this player is, just, or this card is just insane. Apparently he's better than AD. He's better than George Mikan. He's better than Dave Cowens. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at his stats. We're gonna take a look at his badges and really his jump shot and everything like that. And also his hot zones. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the card, but I do recommend that you guys 100% grind for this card and try to get him. I'm going to take a look on 2KDB, and that's how we're going to take a look at the stats and stuff like that. But I wanted to make a video talking about him because a lot of you guys probably aren't going to even understand how good this card really is. I haven't even taken a look at the stats or anything, so we're going to kind of talk about it and why I think he is actually going to be worth going for. Um, but more importantly, you guys know how much or how I feel about Triple Dead Offline. I get that it's boring, but the rewards are really good for Triple Dead Offline. And especially today, there is an event going on where, as you guys can see, it says, you know, earn two times like the MT when you open the vault. And that's honestly pretty good because I opened it a few times. It got 2,000 MT each time. There's also the draft pack, which you can pull pink diamonds out of, the diamond consumable pack, which is pretty good. And then you have obviously the pink diamond uh, Embrite, or Embrite, Bray, Bray, whatever you want to call him. The point is, he's insane. Let's take a look at the stats. So on 2KDB, you guys can already see that there's already gonna be like the main thing I'm looking at right away is that he is only 6'8". Now, being 6'8 is a little undersized, obviously, especially when you're talking about a center. So if you wanted to run him at the power forward position, I think that's gonna be the best spot for this card. Now, right away, again, taking a look at the hot zones. He's got hot zones literally everywhere on set or everywhere aside from the top of the key, which that's honestly pretty good. Him having hot zones in the corner is actually gonna be pretty good. He's gonna be able to knock down a lot of corner threes and stuff like that. So let's take a look at the stats first here. He does have a 76 three ball, that's okay. I mean, nothing really too, too crazy, but an 88 mid range. That is pretty good. Now, this is where, again, this is what caught my eye right now. 97 driving dunk. That is absolutely insane. 97 driving dunk, 98 standing dunk. A lot of good post moves. So already he's kind of looking pretty nice there. He has an 86 ball handling. Like that's, okay. And then he has 86 speed, 86 acceleration. And then taking a look at his defense. I mean, 90 interior, 83 perimeter, 83 lateral quickness, 85 steel, 85 blocks, 97 on both of the reboundings. Like that is really solid for again, a free card. Like there has never really been a free card that they put in the vault that I think that has been this good. So let's take a look at the badges though. On current gen, you do obviously have different badges from next gen. We'll take a look at that in just a second here. Um, finishing badges, I mean, he has Hall of Fame Showtime, Hall of Fame Relentless, Hall of Fame Giant Slayer. So those are, and Hall of Fame Slithery Finisher. So that's gonna be really solid for scoring in the paint. Taking a look at his shooting badges, he has Catch and Shoot, Corner Specialist, Pick and Popper. He can get Deadeye, Flexible Release, Green Machine, Hot Star, Hot Zone Hunter and he can get range. He actually can get range. So he is literally just becoming more and more overpowered as we look at it. Playmaking badges, he does come with quick first step. He can get dimer, so that's pretty good. And then defense, he comes with Hall of Fame Intimidator, Box, Rebound Chaser, Worm, Clamps, Heart Crusher. I mean, I, I honestly don't even know what to say. Like this card literally came out of nowhere and is absolutely insane. Same thing on next gen though, he's gonna have the same amount of good badges. I mean, that he can still get Hot Zone Hunter. Obviously, he still gets uh, deep threes. Um, so yeah, I mean, current gen, current gen he has, what? Current gen he has one, or no, he has two more Hall of Fame badges and a gold badge more. Um, and then uh, badges, obviously for next gen, he does have two, um, yeah, no, that's, that's just weird. I, I don't know, that that is just, that is very weird. What is this conversion thing? Oh. 
Okay, so let's take a look though at his animations because a lot of people were saying what his jump shot is. His always jump shot is D'Lo, which isn't really all that bad. Upper release is a guy like Larry Johnson or Obi Toppin or Michael Porter Jr. Now, if you guys haven't really, you know, played around with those cards, they actually have really decent jump shots. So running this guy at the four could definitely be the move. Um, I mean, obviously his dribble moves, I don't think matter too, too much. Um, he's got the fr same free throw as guys like Devin Booker and T-Mac. So that is pretty good to see. Um, I just, I'm, I'm genuinely surprised at how good this card is. Cause like I said, this is a free card just from playing triple threat offline, opening the vault, getting lucky and kind of getting him. Um, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I've seen a lot of people telling me about how good this card is and I'm actually pretty excited to, you know, potentially get this card. So again, if you guys don't know how to get it, it is straight up from the vault. Now, like I said, I had a lot of luck when it came to opening up the vault for Jeff Malone. I did end up getting four of them. So I am kind of hoping that I could get this guy as well. Maybe get some luck with that. But honestly, like I said, people are saying he's a top three big man in this game. I don't really know depending on how much you want to look at it. I still think Blake is better. Um, so I would still say Blake is better. I would, I don't really know because I haven't used them, but like Dre is still might not, or Dre might still be better for me. Uh, but outside of that though, I'm definitely looking forward to picking him up. I mean, he could be a good replacement for Dave Cowens. I mean, Patrick Ewing obviously never plays. Like this is like my uh, 12 and 0 squad that I take to, uh, or you know, take to go and play unlimited. Um, he could easily replace Dave Cowens. I mean, Dave Cowens, I believe is only 6'9". So, I mean, one inch shorter. He could easily play that backup center position, give me a complete five out here. Or he could even kind of, you know, take Connie Hawkins' spot. I don't really know what I want to do there. Uh, just because Connie Hawkins is still a pretty underrated card in my opinion. Like he is just that budget version of Josh Smith. But I'm definitely excited to try to get this card. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video though, do me a favor and hit that like button. Let me know in the comments if you guys have gotten him yet and what your guys' opinions are on him. I'm sure some of you guys have probably gotten him by now. Especially because there's a bunch of people, like I said, in my stream that said that they got him. So, like I said, I'm actually curious to know, uh, you know, how many of you guys actually got him and stuff like that. Before I end this video though, I do want to ask you guys if you guys do think that this is at least like a top three best free card we have gotten this year. Now, when I say a free card, I'm talking about guys like Jalen Brown, Blake Griffin, Stephen Curry, like right there, you know, those are two, those are probably three of the top free guys you can get. You can also get Galaxy Double Baylor, Mike in, like Jeff Malone, like all these guys that have been for free, like Paul Pierce. Let me know what you guys think and let me know where you guys think he compares to because honestly, I think he might be top four top three i mean it really just depends like i still think curry and blake are the best you know free cards in the game that you could have gotten so far so as of this moment let me know what you guys think because i'm actually interested to know thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys did enjoy be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you guys are new really close to that 60k mark and uh yeah peace